Hey YouTube, this is TT Wi-Fi. I'm doing a review on Berlin Wood Fingerboard. Uh, right there. Uh, Flatface G12 boards. G7.1 T wheels and black rubber bushings. And G7.1 Brandon Robert wheels with uh, Teflons. Okay, first I'm gonna start off with the Berlin wood. Uh, it has a lot of pop, as a lot of people know. And, well, it it's really solid, as you can hear. And I, I can only flex it. I can barely flex it, just a tiny bit. But uh, um, it slides really well, and as you can see, uh, the graphic is wearing away nice. I like it. And it's cool. It gives it personality. Um. It's really nice. I really like the rip tape that comes with it. That's what I have on it. It's really, I believe it's a new rip. And it's a little bit softer. It has a little bit different feel, but it's a lot nicer. In my perspective, in my opinion, yeah. Uh, now, uh, G7.1T wheels. I'm just reviewing the whole set, this whole set first. They're really smooth. They have a, a unique feel, like really unique. Like they're a little soft, but it's like there's a hard core and then there's a layer of soft on the outside. That's how I would describe it, I guess. But it's really unique feel. It's not one I can really describe, but yeah. Yeah, I, I like them a lot. They're really nice. I, re I like I really like the white color. On them and the shape, so yeah. Um, now Black River bushings, as you can see, right there. They're they're amazing. I mean, you can like really tell the difference between this and O rings. Like a major difference. Like O rings, they'll hold. If you snap it, they won't snap back all the way. They'll hold their place. But, um, and they're like really soft, so you can't really get a hard feel if you like tight trucks. These, they work off, they work off per just perfectly with loose or tight trucks. And um, they, they snap back, as you can see. They snap, they snap back all the way. I don't even have pivot cups in these yet. So, it's, these black rubber bushings must do. And they work great with my king, with my safe house kingpins too. Because the washer that comes with the bushings is the same size as the, my kingpin head. So, yeah. The only thing about them is they're a little bit hard to put on. So, like, with, on tech deck kingpins, like, to put the, screw the washer over it, because it feels like they're a little big for the kingpin, but other than that, they're great, so, but yeah, if you get, like, a kingpin, you can screw over it, like, mine or FBS, then they're not head, then, yeah, you're fine. So, yeah, those are really good. Next, flat face G12. I know a lot of people are saying that because it doesn't have a lot, of, it doesn't, it barely has any concave that won't flip well. That is, that's a lie. Okay, they flip amazing. They have a really good flick. Okay, and the problem, the thing is, like sometimes with when you have a lot of concave or concave, just like a lot of concave or something, then you'll catch your fingers on the sides and like the heel flips and all the heels and stuff. And like lasers and um oh yeah especially like hard flips um but really they're really good they have a lot of pop they're a little flexible but just a tiny bit not much they have really nice plies especially my this is a wide premium it's got um what looks like a brownish reddish middle ply with two white outer plies on that and then the bottom is like dark blue on the on the nose and tail and then green in the middle like aqua green in the middle 
I like it. It looks really nice. And the lacquer. The lacquering is just amazing. It's like, uh, it's like really smooth and stuff. So, they have a lot of pop. They have good control, too. So, yeah, these are a must-do if, like, you don't have enough money for Berlin wood. Or if, yeah, but just definitely get this. These decks are really nice. I like them a lot. They have a really awesome, they have a really nice shape. Oh, yeah, and if you do, always cut out the flat face G12 part. Because, well, you suck if you don't. <laughs> okay, next, the Brandon Robert G7.1 wheels. The bet they're the smoothest wheels I've ever tried. Smoother than Winkler TLCs. They're smoother than the T wheels. Smoother than G7.1 A's, D's, E's. Um, yeah, they have um a little bit of a hard feel. Um, but they're really durable and stuff. And yeah, they they are never gonna fly spot. Um, and, um the uh, of course the G7.1 shape is amazing. Um. I don't know how Mike gets it like that. I mean, I know he uses the lathe and stuff, but that must be hard to get it like that. Especially with the treads in it. Um, they're really smooth. Um, though, that's all I can describe it as. They feel a little hard. I mean, I know a lot of people don't like the color. It's because it's like a, a brownish color. Dark brown color. Or, yeah, but it's... I, I if you... Just want performance and definitely get these. These are definitely the most amazing smooth wheel, smoothest wheels I've ever tried. Out of all the wheels I've bearing wheels I've ever tried. Uh, next, Teflon bushings. Well, yeah, they're really nice. I like them. Okay, the what what I've been able to tell from them is that. Only the bottom bushing is made of Teflon. The top bushing feels like it's just an O-ring. But still, I mean, they snap back really well. Um, good response. They have a lot. They make the board feel pretty solid. They work good with... Loose or tight trucks, really. So they're good. Like they're, I don't, they're not as good as the black rear bushing, but they're still really nice. Okay, I'm, so yeah, these definitely because they don't cost that much either. But I think they're only a dollar fifty on flat face. So yeah, they're nice. Um, yeah. Uh, I think that's it. Okay, saw my review, now go check these products out, test them, make your own review, see, peace YouTube.